Good morning, happy Monday, and I hope that you're doing well. We're entering the fourth week of conflict management and moving right along. This week is a little bit different as we're focusing on the online study discussion, and I wanna provide you some information to help you to complete this assignment. So rather than have a new reading or quiz for this week, I'm asking you to participate in the online study discussion between now and this Friday. What you'll need to do for this week is look at the group that you've been assigned. So you and other group members have been given a topic and divided into online study discussion one, two, three, or four. Within the group that you're assigned, I'd like you to participate in a discussion surrounding your topic. So you might start out by using a paragraph or two to share your own thoughts, your perspective, or your opinion about this topic. Maybe it's a topic you know pretty well and feel pretty passionately about, so you already have some things out the gate. Or maybe it's a topic that you don't know very well, and you do a little bit of preliminary research to help you gain an opinion on that topic. Either way is fine. You might notice that uh, one person in the group is designed to be in a facilitator role. You might think back to the first chapter of Jant where we talked about study circles and that the role of a facilitator is not so much to share their own opinion, but to help to guide and, the direct, and direct the discussion. So if you have a facilitator role, you might use a paragraph or two to lay out and describe some elements of the topic and pose some questions to the group. Or you might use comments in order to try to get some additional opinions or perspectives. Tell me more about this, for instance. As part of the online study discussion, you should look back through Chapter 1's discussion of study circles and ways to facilitate respectful online discussion. So you might find that you're disagreeing with other group members and want to convey your disagreement. That's totally fine. You might also find that you agree and want to add to the points of view that are being shared. That's also totally fine. But what I ask is that you work on maintaining a respectful environment toward other students, avoiding things such as personal attacks or name calling, and instead focusing on the issues, trying to find areas of common ground, and trying to focus on how your disagreements on this issue might come about. This assignment is designed to help you build skills in conflict management by examining and participating within a conflict or potential discussion where members might disagree. After Friday, I'll ask you to complete a couple of other assignments related to this uh, online study discussion. So within two weeks of Friday, so by November 5th, I'll ask you to complete a reflection where you talk about your own experience of participating in the online discussion through Canvas. What stood out to you? What did you notice? What were things that you felt like went well in your group? I'm also going to ask you to look at two other study groups that you were not assigned. Uh, and take a look at the discussion that unfolded in those groups and what stood out to you there. So the three major parts of this assignment is by this Friday, you'll participate in the study discussion with other group members through Canvas. You don't need to use Zoom or come to class for anything like that face to face. And then by November 5th, you'll turn in a three page long reflection and then you'll also turn in uh, two reviews of other group members that are about a page each. So um, for these assignments in total, that's 250 points or 25% of your grade. Additionally, you'll notice that I've posted both a rubric and an assignment guide on the front page of Canvas. I'm also happy to answer your questions through email as well or through my Zoom office hours, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 10 a.m. to noon and by appointment. So feel free to reach out to me if you've got any questions on completing this assignment or need additional support. Remember, uh, by the end of this week, you should participate in the study discussion for your group by contributing to the topic and then also offering input and ideas uh, for other students in the class. While you might uh, be a little bit anxious about disagreeing with other people or finding points of view that are not entirely aligned with yours, that's okay. This is a focus on us discussing, learning together, and using the skills that we've talked about so far in the class in order to respectfully manage and deal with a situation where not everybody agrees. So I hope that you have a good week and enjoy participating in the study discussion. Let me know if you have any questions and use the rubric and guide to help you uh, with participating in your group. Otherwise, uh, have a wonderful week and I will talk to you again next Monday.